Hey everyone, it's Carl. Summit Racing Equipment has a new line of camshafts for LS and Gen 3 and Gen 4 Vortec truck engines in non-pollution controlled vehicles. From the start, the Summit Pro LS cams were designed as a complete lineup. There are six truck cams, five automotive cams, and four turbo cams. Cams are generally listed by duration, globe separation, and advance. Summit Pro LS cams take the guesswork out of selecting the perfect cam. The cams are designed with the specific timing events required by each application. From stage 1 to stage 4, you'll find the timing events in distinct increments. This ensures maximum performance and distinct behaviors. Here are the four valve events. EVO, or exhaust valve opening. This event is the least critical because it's assisted by the residual cylinder pressure. IVO, or intake valve opening. This event has the most control over idle quality. EVC, or exhaust valve closing. This event, in conjunction with IVO, creates overlap. Overlap increases reversion at low RPM, but is increasingly helpful at peak torque and above. IVC, or intake valve closing. This event has the most control over the operating range. First up, the Pro LS truck swap cams. These are designed to make power where it's needed. The truck cams have intake closing points between 32 and 41 degrees after bottom dead center for maximum punch where the converter hits. The Summit Stage 1 Torque and Efficiency Cam produces outstanding torque right off idle and maintains efficiency. It makes much better torque and power across the entire RPM range. There is a slight lope if you're listening for it and no valve spring upgrades are required. The Summit Stage 1 drop-in truck cam produces good torque off idle with strong mid-range and top-end performance. Idle speed can be tuned for a smooth idle or a noticeable lope. No valve spring upgrades are required. The Summit Stage 1 high-lift truck cam produces good torque off idle with a very good mid-range and good top-end power. It has a nice idle yet pulls strongly past 6500 RPM with proven LS6 valve springs. The Summit Stage 2 drop-in cam makes great mid-range and top-end power. It's the largest recommended with a stock torque converter. With a 6-liter, it has a slight lope depending on idle speed. No valve spring upgrades are required, but LS6 valve springs are recommended to extend the RPM range. The Summit Stage 3 truck cam makes outstanding mid-range and top-end power. It has a steady lope at idle in a 6-liter. This cam pulls strongly from 2500 to 6500 RPM with LS6 valve springs. A 2500 RPM stall converter is recommended, but not required. The Summit Stage 4 truck cam is the meanest truck cam out there and has an aggressive lope. It hits hard right where the torque converter hits for maximum acceleration. A 2800 RPM plus torque converter is recommended. This cam pulls strongly from 3,000 to 6,800 RPM with LS6 valve springs. Next, let's talk about the automotive cams. Things get serious with the Summit Pro LS automotive cams. Cars are lighter with deeper gears and more converter and often run headers. We trade a little bottom end torque for more mid-range and power up high. A couple of the cams are designed specifically for LS3 type big valve rectangular port heads. They provide optimum piston to valve clearance without fly cutting the pistons. With the automotive cams, the intake valve closing points range between 43 to 50 degrees after bottom dead center. Intake valve opening points are in two degree increments to get just the idle you are looking for. We'll have more on this in a later video. The Summit Stage 2 LS cam has a steady lope, but tunes well and is easy to live with. It has a wide power band and pulls strongly to 7,000 RPM. A 2,500 RPM stall converter is a plus, but not required. The Summit Stage 3 LS Cam is a great cam for a weekend warrior. It has an aggressive lope and a very strong mid-range and top end. Stock rear end gearing is okay, but a 3,000 RPM plus stall converter is recommended. The Summit Stage 4 LS Cam is the ultimate cam for a car or truck with the factory intake manifold design. It has a rowdy idle and will outpower any cam in its range. Always check piston to valve clearance with this cam and degreeing it in for clearance may be necessary. Deeper gears and a 3500 RPM plus stall converter are recommended. 
The Summit Stage 3 LS3 cam allows the rectangular port heads to be milled slightly for compression. It has a strong, steady lope and accelerates hard in the mid-range and top end. Stock rear end gears are okay, but a 3000 RPM stall converter is recommended. The Summit Stage 4 LS3 cam has a strong lope and it's designed for maximum acceleration with a factory style intake. Deeper gears and a 3500 RPM stall converter are recommended. It has adequate piston to valve clearance with unmilled rectangular port heads, but always check piston to valve clearance. Next up, let's talk about the Summit Turbo Cams. These are special designs all their own. The lobes are stable to 7000 RPM plus with 600 intake and 575 exhaust lift. The exhaust lobes are a little less aggressive than the intakes. They crack the exhaust valve open a little easier against high cylinder pressures which takes stress off the valve train. Because of higher turbine inlet pressures found in turbo applications, overlap is reduced to prevent reversion. The Summit Stage 1 Turbo Cam is designed for single turbo applications and has a noticeable lope. It spools quickly and pulls hard through the mid-range and has good top end. A 2500 RPM stall converter is recommended, but not required. The Summit Stage 2 Turbo Cam has a steady lope. It spools quickly and pulls hard in the mid-range and has great top end power. A 2800 RPM stall converter is recommended. The Summit Stage 3 Turbo Cam makes excellent mid-range and top end power. It spools quickly and it's designed to work well even with higher turbine inlet pressures found on single turbo applications. A 2800 RPM plus stall converter is recommended. The Summit Stage 4 Turbo Cam is designed for built engines and serious power levels. This reverse split design is ideal for single turbo applications with a T4 hot side and full length performance exhaust systems. A 3500 RPM plus stall converter is recommended. All of these things combined make more power and do it more reliably. The price is right too. In fact, Summit has everything you need to make installation simple and affordable. Want to learn more about how the valve timing events were chosen? We have an upcoming video we think you'll like. Thanks for watching.